Hi kids, it's story time, and I'm gonna tell you a story about Paul and Silas, but I have lost my picture envelopes. Can you help me find my envelopes? They look like this one. Can you help me find them? Great, let's go. Do you see my envelopes? Where? I don't see them, where are they? Oh, there it is. This is Paul and Silas. They love Jesus and told lots of people about him. I know, let's pretend to be like Paul and Silas and tell everyone about Jesus. I love Jesus! Will you do it with me? Great job! Come on, let's find another envelope! Do you see my envelope? Where? Where is it? Oh, there it is! There was a girl following Paul and Silas. She wouldn't stop following them for days. Paul knew something was wrong with her. Paul prayed for her and she was healed. Everybody cheer and say yay! But the people watching were angry that Paul and Silas were praying for the people. And they sent them to jail. Do you think Paul and Silas were sad that they had to go to jail? Yes, they were. That would make us sad too. I want to know what happens next, do you? Let's go find another envelope. Is my envelope in here? Where? I don't see it. and they didn't do anything wrong. You think they would be scared and angry to be in jail, but wait, Paul and Silas knew that God was with them, even in jail. So they sang praises and worshiped Jesus right in their cells. Let's pray like Paul and Silas. Can you fold your head, hands and bow your heads? Lord Jesus, thank you for taking care of us and loving us. Amen. You're never going to believe what happens next. Let's go find our next envelope. Okay, where is my next envelope? Have you seen it? I still don't see it. Do you see it? Oh, there it is. All of a sudden, there was a terrible earthquake. Can you pretend the ground is shaking? Let's stomp our feet and make an earthquake sound. All of the chains shook and the bars and the doors and the jail flew off. Those guys were free. Do you think Paul and Silas left the jail to be free? Guess what? They didn't leave. That made that jailer happy and it showed him they trusted God. Wow, what a story. I wonder what happens next. Let's go find our next envelope. Come on. Do you see my next envelope? I don't know where it is. You see it? Where? Oh, there it is. Paul and Silas were finally set free and got to leave the prison. Many people began to know God because of Paul and Silas' story. Even the jailer apologized to Paul and Silas for putting them in jail. God is so good. Let's put our arms up and say, yay, God! Great job. Let's go find our next envelope. Come on. There's only one envelope left. Do you see it? I don't. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Paul and Silas kept living their lives for God. Paul 
Paul continued to tell lots of people about Jesus. He never forgot anything God did for him, and he worshiped God for the rest of his life. You know, this story makes me want to worship God too. We worship God by talking about him, praying to him, singing songs for him. This shows God we love him. We love God, right? What a great story today. Thanks for helping me find my envelopes. Can you give yourself a pat on the back? Great job. We'll see you next time when we're learning a new Bible story. Bye.